The high prices of locally produced food item in Nigeria is mainly due to the soaring transportation costs and not entirely the exchange rate as many people think. These costs have risen astronomically, mainly because of the rising prices of petrol and diesel. For instance, a big basket of tomatoes that used to cost 12,000 naira now costs 30,000 naira. If we reduce transportation costs by government subsidizing the cost of transporting farm products from the farms to the market, the prices of food items will decrease and stay stable, regardless of exchange rates. This means that even if the value of the currency fluctuates, the prices of food won't really be affected. Transportation expenses is not the only reason why food prices have risen so sharply. Conflicts between herdsmen and farmers, particularly in certain regions, have worsened the situation, and so have middlemen who manipulate prices, further driving up the cost for consumers. But the primary issue remains the escalating transportation costs and the need for immediate attention. To combat this challenge, government must also establish price control and monitoring boards dedicated to agricultural products. Niger produces up to 90% of its food locally, so such boards would play a pivotal role in ensuring price stability and accessibility for all citizens. By tackling transportation costs head-on, by subsidizing the transportation of farm produce and implementing measures such as price control and monitoring boards, Nigeria can effectively stabilize food prices, guaranteeing affordability and availability for its population. This concrete effort is essential to elevate the burden on consumers and foster a more resilient food supply chain. My name is Ben Murray Bruce and I just want to make common sense.